Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric here in Aurora on arc faults. This is our second part series of it. Um, we went ahead and installed two arc fault breakers. Basically what we had to do is identify where the neutral was and dig it out. We did see some cuts, so we taped up those cuts. And then the other one was a multi-branch circuit with a black and a red. And we actually were able to identify that. We couldn't dig it out, so we identified by eliminating the neutral and pulling it through and extending it. And actually, even though we had um, this on the A phase and this on the B phase, we swapped them, and the neutral is still holding, though it's a multi-branch circuit, so I'm not having to need a multi-branch circuit combo two-pole uh, arc fault breaker on a Siemens here with a combination type. This is actually just a single pole, but on a two-pole multi-circuit, black, red, and white. So Siemens is finally getting this down and I'm really proud of them because we have had issues for years trying to get these multi-circuit branch circuit homes back in the 90s wired with all these reds. And how you know you open your panel and you see a ton of reds. That's how you know. But we're actually getting this to test and hold. And basically one quick thing to show you, what happens on the inside of the home is that these two if this circuit's working by itself, it'll light. But the minute I cross on the back side with another neutral or hot, I'm going to trip my arc fault every single time. But we're actually getting this to hold, so it's working out well. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you next week.